Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Veronica and I'm a big lover of makeup. So if you want to see more reviews, looks and more fun videos, don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, we are filming the last empties of 2022. So if you are curious about that, please keep on watching. Okay, so don't mind my redness in here. I don't know what that is. And I have my giant bag in here. And we are going to start actually with candles because... I have a bunch of candles. This is the Aromatherapy Home Premium Edition. I don't think it is the gold one from uh, Pepco. I think it's an only Europe-based store. So I don't think you are gonna find that in the, in the States. But I don't love the candle. And I have this one in the background as well, the pink one. And that one is the same brand. I don't love the candles, but... Um, it is very cute in the background and I don't love them because they are not that good of a quality. The centro is not, is not great and they smell like vanilla and I discovered that I don't love basic vanilla scented candles. This one as well, Bath & Body Works uh, has a store in Romania now and I am very excited about that. And I bought this candle first. So this is the vanilla bean scented candle and I have some notes Madagascar vanilla home and homemade marshmallow and a nutmeg so it is a pretty simple uh, candle it smells nice I just don't prefer simple vanilla candles and this one is so so ugly inside because I cut the wicks and I don't think you are supposed to do that with uh, Bath and Body Works candles so I'm not gonna do that in the future then I have another one in here. This is the Berry Waffle Cone. And I don't think I have notes in here for this one. But this one looks something like this. So a bit better. I think I cut the wicks for this one. Or maybe the wicks are just so tiny that you can't, um, can't fire them anymore. So yeah, can't fire them. <laughs> can't burn them anymore so I think this is the maximum amount that I can burn this candle but this is very lovely berry waffle cone I think I'm gonna buy a similar scent to this one in spring and the last one in here it's pumpkin clove and this smells lovely it's very spicy and yummy I really like it I think this one is my favorite now I think I have four more candles. Yeah, I'm looking in there because I have them a bit far away. And I learned that I don't love vanilla scents and that I'm not gonna cut the wicks and that uh, Bad and Bad Works candles are really good. They are pretty pricey, but I really like them. So I will repurchase them. I already did. Then I have in here a Sugar Body Scrub from uh, Tutti Frutti. You know that I really love these ones. so. I did repurchase them and I actually have from them as well uh, cherry and currant body butter and this is really nice as well. This smelled really yummy, very fruity and I'm not <laughs> applying too much cream to my body so in my eyes it's not worth spending a lot of money on body butters or body creams because I'm not using them. So this brand is perfect for that and I did repurchase uh, one of each. Next I have a body wash. This is the Dove Nourishing Care and I really love this one. It is very hydrating, which I do appreciate. Then I have the Schwarzo, Schwarzkopf Got To Be Dry Shampoo and I have the one with extra volume and ocean vibes. Sorry for the noise. Uh, this is a fresh smell this is an amazing dry shampoo i do recommend it it is very very good but i don't think it's stronger than the batist ones and i do have pretty oily hair but if you have very very dark hair i do recommend this one because it doesn't have a white cast and it's so good i really like this one it is very very good it is from the drugstore as well Next, I have my favorite cleanser. This is the You To The People Superfood Cleanser. And I already <laughs> repurchased this one. This is a pretty strong 
cleanser but I'm only using it in the days that I have makeup so I need to remove a lot of um, product from my face but in the days that I don't have makeup on I'm using other more uh, gentle cleansers. Next I have the Bumble and Bumble Texture Spray. This is a mini. It is a really good one but I prefer the Living Proof one or the, um, the one that I said a million times that I love how it is called. The IGK uh, Beach Club is the name of the product. I just look it up because I have the memory of a goldfish. This is pretty nice but I prefer the IGK or the Living Proof one. Then I have my favorite deodorant. This is the Dove Invisible Dry. It is really nice. I have the Inky List Omega Water Cream. This is very nice if you have very very oily skin because it is very lightweight. The name is perfect for it because when you are massaging it into your skin it turns into like a watery consistency and it is very lightweight and nice but I don't I don't love it. I think it's unnecessary for me and for my routine because in the morning I'm usually not applying uh, hydrating creams and in my nighttime routine I prefer something very hydrating and very thick so this is not for me. Then I have a cleaner from uh, Melcure. This is for your nails and this is the last step of the semi-permanent manicure is just removing the sticky layer from the top coat. It is really nice. I already have another one. Then I finish my favorite micellar water. This is the Garnier um, micellar water. It is the yellow one that has some oil in it. I think it is argan oil and I really like this one to remove makeup. Then I have my favorite Batiste dry shampoo. I took this one with me while uh, traveling. This is the Batiste dry shampoo in the shade, <laughs> in the scent uh, tropical. I love the smell of this one. It is so nice. It, it smells like coconut and it is so great. I will <laughs> at some point repurchase this one. Then I have two products from Grande Lash. I have the Lash Enhancing Serum and the Brow Enhancing Serums. These are both uh, minis, so they didn't do a lot for my brows and my lashes probably the full size will be a lot useful but I just recommend the ordinary one over these two. Then I have a K18 repair hair mask and this was nice but I did use it only two times because I bought this very tiny package so yeah I'm not gonna repurchase it because I don't need another product for my hair. Then we have the Olaplex number no. 5. This is the conditioner and we need to talk about this for a moment. I've been repurchasing a lot of Olaplex products and I just need to stop hating on Olaplex. I am trying <laughs> to hate on it but I love it. I need to stop trying to convince myself that this is not a great conditioner and that the Olaplex line is not great because it is. I need to stop that because right now I do have three, not one, not two, but three Olaplex shampoos. I practically have all <laughs> the shampoos. I do have the number for normal one, for C and for P. So, and I repurchased the conditioner. So. What can I say? They convinced me, so I'm gonna repurchase them. And I do have too many shampoos right now, but it is what it is. And then I have another shampoo. This is the Tenica uh, Violet Lavender Shampoo. This is very nice, this brand in general, and this color as well, to maintain your color hair. So if you have red hair, they have a really nice one for uh, red hair. And this one for purple, violet, um, hair, color, hair color as well. It is very good. My hairdresser had a pretty rough uh, time removing this one from my hair because my hair was a bit too gray. So yeah, it was a bit of a struggle. But now I am very happy with my hair. I did put the Moroccan oil uh, pink hair mask and that one is rose gold. So it's more warm 
And this one is too cool toned for my liking, so I'm not gonna repurchase it, but it is a very good product. And yeah, so I do have that rose mask for the spring because for sure in the spring I will want pink hair again. And right now I am using the Olaplex number 4P just to remove any brassiness and it is very nice. Next it is an SPF. This is the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen and this is SPF 30. Very good product. I really recommend it, but I don't think I'm gonna repurchase it because Oh, I was mentioning this in another video that I'm not repurchasing my favorites most of the times and I need to do that and I need to pick favorites in some categories, products that are closer to me because I'm not gonna order online in most cases. In some categories it's totally fine for me to order from very far, eyeshadows, I could just order from the other a part of the planet and it is totally fine blushes bronzers stuff like that because i'm not gonna go through that product but for product that i'm gonna go through regularly i think it will be better for me to find favorites that are just a bit easier for me to purchase and i do have the severe a sunscreen that i really love i really like that one a bit more than this one so i'm gonna repurchase that one over this one Next I have the Borotalco Original Deodorant and this one it's with the green cap. This is very nice, especially in the summer because uh, this doesn't have any white particles like this one. This is just more liquidy and I really like this one in the summer, but in the colder months I prefer something like this. Next I have a brush. This is a foundation brush from e.l.f. It is the rose shaped one. And it is very soft, it is a pretty good brush, but I'm not using it and it has a bit of pink on it because I tried it with blush and it's not working, so I decided to pass it to a friend. So I'm gonna clean it very well and give it to a friend that maybe will enjoy it. Next I have the Melchior Dehydrator and this is just to prep your nails for the manicure. Next I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is a mini. Sadly, Urban Decay is not available in Romania anymore, so I don't think I'm gonna repurchase it. Then I have the Hello Good Stuff Essence Setting Spray. This is a very affordable uh, face mist that I usually use to spray my eyeshadow brushes. So it's not longer wearing or something like that. Then I have the NYX Lift and Snatch. And I have the shade Ash Brown and I actually did repurchase this one, which is <laughs> sometimes taste is changing. And for this product, it totally did because now I'm using it pretty often and I do have a more fluffy brow, which is very different than <laughs> the first time that I tried this one because I didn't like it. I said that it is a very good product, so that didn't change. I still consider it a good product and I did consider it a really good product at the beginning as well, but it was not for me, but now it is and I really like it, so I did repurchase it. I have an eye cream in here. This is the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream. This is pretty nice, but it is a bit too lightweight for my taste. Again, similar to the, where it is, the Omega Water Cream. This is a bit too lightweight. I just prefer my other night cream that is a bit more heavy duty. So this is a really good one. It's nothing wrong with it, but I would say that this is a more daytime uh, cream similar to this one. Then I have in here a tissue with something inside and it is the Zara Lip Jelly. This is a lip oil and I did finish this one. It is decent but I hate the packaging I hate that it is at an angle and it always falling so yeah and the product inside it's meh I don't think it's that good I'm not gonna repurchase it I'm not really recommending it it's not it's not that good then I have another product for nails this is the Cupio cuticle oil and I really like this one it is like a, the name is saying it is an oil for uh, your cuticles. And then I have a moop sponge that I really like. 
I have another 10 of these or something like that. So that is my fav favorite sponge. And then I have a sample size of the La Via Belle by Lancome. This is one of my favorites and I did repurchase it practically yesterday. So I do have this one in um, a bigger bottle in my collection as well. It is very lovely. And I want to film a perfume video. I am the worst at describing scents, but I think it will be fun to have one time per year a video with my uh, perfume collection to talk about some perfumes that I really like. And I have the notes saved for all of them. So that will be very helpful and we can talk about some scents. So that would be fun. I'm gonna just prep for that video and that probably will be live in January. In 2023, I think I'm gonna take a different approach with my declutter and empties and I'm gonna film only empties. Like today, I think the only product that is not really an empty, it is the Melchior dehydrator, but this is very, very old. So I decided that it is the time for it to go, but except that all of these are empties. So I think in the next year, I'm gonna do exactly this. I'm gonna film only empties and I'm gonna film at the end of the year, a declutter of all my makeup categories and that I think it will be a bit more interesting rather than decluttering stuff throughout the year. I'm gonna see maybe we are gonna do a half of a year declutter because I usually like decluttering stuff pretty often. So maybe six months will be nice for me. I'm gonna see and decide, but I think we are gonna keep empties on their own and the clutter will be separate. So these are all the products that I want to show you. These are all my empties. And yeah, so if you like this video and you want to see more from me, please subscribe and give it a like and I will see you next time.